This young lady has, uh, was previously interviewed with uh, vestibular migraine and uh, since that interview was, uh, has been treated with numerous medical therapies, but without effect. She failed trials of nortriptyline, of topiramate, of uh, diltiazem, and even of zonisamide. Because of these multiple failures, we moved on to galcanezumab, a CGRP antibody, uh, which binds the ligand CGRP. Uh, and she's had a rather dramatic response. Can you tell us uh, how many times you've taken it now and what you experience? Yeah, so I've been taking it for five months now. Um, currently, I don't have any more migraines. Uh, I don't really have any of the dizziness symptoms that usually come with my migraines either. The only real symptom that I have left is within the last five days before my next shot, I get a little bit of tetanus. Uh, but other than that, everything has really improved and I haven't seen too many other issues or side effects from taking the um, Engality. So it's interesting, you get tinnitus in one or both ears? So it's both ears. Uh, but stronger in the left. So you have perfectly normal hearing. I mean, your hearing is uh, 10 decibels at every measurable frequency up to 10,000, and um, yet you get tinnitus. And is there any ear fullness associated with it? Uh, not really. Just an isolated symptom. And then that tinnitus goes away yep. when you redose your um, uh, antibody. Yeah, so when I redose the antibody, again, I don't get to NS again until towards the end of that dosing. Well, this is very interesting, not only because of the association of treatable tinnitus uh, with migraine activity, but also uh, because of the response of vestibular migraine and tinnitus to this class of antibodies against CGRP, mm -hmm. uh, something that has not been uh, widely reported, if at all. I thank you very much for allowing us to interview you for this follow-up. Yeah.